Hey, hey, Blue Table fans. Today we're going to be taking a look at a Tau Manta. You've seen this in the background of many videos now. There have been some requests to take a closer look at it, which we're going to do today. The Tau Manta is easily the largest model that Forge World puts out. It's about three foot from wingtip to wingtip. I've heard that it is uh, harder to put this together, just to assemble it, than it is to assemble two armies, which you may have heard on a previous studio update, is an extremely, I mean, this, guys, this is heavy lifting, and uh, quite frankly, I think most people would not even have the equipment or even remotely the expertise to even assemble this figure. Uh, in fact, painting it is probably, probably easier. All right, so uh, this is mounted on a one inch board as the base. It has a decorative base with um, worked up hard styro on it. And as you can see, we've blown an entire Lehman Russ just to uh, decorate the base uh, with. It has three, originally we tried putting one single peg in the middle and that did not work. You cannot, the physics don't scale up for this. So this has, I do believe it is 3 16 inch metal bar at uh, three points that go up into the model. Um, all right, let's go ahead and open it up. On the front here, you've got these panels that come off and you can see the, uh, the pilots inside. Here you can see these guys. And uh, it's a the way that it put, uh, goes together is a little bit tricky. Um, it's, it's hard to paint things and then put it together, um, but uh, it can be done to some extent. Now this main panel on the top comes off. Let's just gently move that up here. And uh, this is where you get to paint 48 fire warriors sitting down. So like I said, it's like painting a whole army. And what makes this additionally difficult is that you have to paint them at an angle kind of like above. You can't actually hold each individual guy. Um, I do believe these fire warriors come in strips, so it might be actually easier to paint them first and put them in, but I don't know how the physics work exactly there. So anyway, um, it has a detailed interior, and uh, this guy is magnetized. It's an ethereal sitting there, and, uh, and you've got these drones here. These are actually glued on, and uh, this back hatch opens. Now it does have a cargo bay that will fully uh, seat the guys in it. In fact, uh, this is now in the up position. Um, I don't know if you can see in there, but uh, it is detailed in there and it has a magnetized strip the battle suits hang from. But unfortunately to show you that, I'd have to get three crew up here just to lift this thing off of the pegs and uh, be able to be able to look into that area. And that's, that's just simply how that, how that goes together. All right, and these, uh, these will slide in. Uh, what makes this uh, uh, su such a challenge to put together is that the resin is, isn't straight. It has to be warped and reworked and sanded back in, into shape. All right, so when you buy the Manta, you do get uh, eight crisis battle suits which we have magnetized onto these bases. Uh, however, they do come in this uh, sort of uh, hanging pose. Uh, these have magnets in the top, so they, they will actually hang in the cargo bay. And uh, so this kind of gives them the impression that they're just landing, uh, which is fantastic. And then it comes uh, with these four tanks also, which as part of the uh, Manta cost, uh, we do paint all of these up. So, uh, if you are, if you want to be one of the handful of people, apparently, in the world that own one of these completed, uh, by all means, contact our inquiries department where we have specialists on standby to set up this project or any other project of any other size. And uh, there you have it, a Tau Manta. And uh, if, if this hasn't given you your inspiration for the day, boy, I don't know what to say. Uh, but uh, thanks for tuning in. And uh, it's always, uh, always good to look at something new.